Let's look at how food poisoning occurs and how to prevent it. Bacteria need time, warmth and food to be able to multiply enough to cause illness. We've all heard the expression breeding like rabbits. Well, it really should be breeding like bacteria because in the right circumstances, a thousand bacteria can become a million in an hour and 40 minutes and it can only take a few thousand to cause food poisoning. But as well as time, they need other conditions to multiply and survive. Warmth is also critical to the growth of bacteria. To try to prevent bacteria from growing, we need to keep food out of the danger zone. Now take a look at this. This is my thermometer. Now you can see that the danger zone is between 5 degrees centigrade and 63 degrees centigrade. Now between those two temperatures, the bacteria will grow rapidly. So to stop growth, we simply need to ensure that food is kept out of this danger zone for as long as possible. When the food is cooked to a temperature of 75 degrees centigrade, most of the bacteria are killed. When chilled food is kept below 5 degrees centigrade, most bacteria will become sleepy, which slows the speed at which they grow. When the food is frozen, the bacteria are well and truly asleep, not growing at all. So it's important to remember that when the temperature of chilled or frozen food rises into the danger zone, the bacteria will quickly begin to grow.